सो गाइज रिसेंटली वीवो हैज लॉन्च वीवो यू सीरीज इन इंडिया इट्स अ बजट सीरीज बेसिकली एंड देयर फर्स्ट स्मार्टफोन इज दिस वीवो यू टेन विच आई हैव रिसेंटली अनबॉक्स ऑन द चैनल एंड आई हैव यूज इट अ बेट इन माई दैट पीरियड ऑफ यूसेज आई हैव एक्सपीरियंस समथिंग एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू वॉट वॉज माई एक्सपीरियंस विद दिस डिवाइस सो ही वो तो गाइज मानी जही एंड दिस इज द फुल रिव्यू ऑफ दिस वीवो यू टेन सो लेट्स बिगिन So first of all guys let's start the review with the build and design so the full body of this phone is plastic even the back is plastic but it looks very amazing in my opinion i mean it just cost 10000 rupees and at this price it looks pretty good and it has this different kind of pattern it looks purplish and bluish and it looks pretty good pretty fantastic and it feels very very sturdy in the hand i don't feel that it's a 10000 rupees smartphone i sometimes feel that it costs around 15 20000 rupees because build quality and the design of this phone is pretty fantastic no doubt about that we have triple camera setup which is surrounded by golden trim so overall look build quality and the design of this phone is pretty fantastic and moving to the front side we have this 720p display and it's an ips display i mean this display is very very good uh, i feel sometimes that it is a 1080p display because the display quality is just fantastic to look at and uh, my god i am just impressed with the display of this phone because this smartphone costs just rupees 10000 and at this price range uh, if you are getting a 720p display which is this good then it is actually amazing it's a 6.35 inches hd plus display it's an ips display but it looks and feels pretty fantastic the colors weaving angles saturation brightness everything of this display is pretty good no complaints over here and now uh, let's talk about the cameras on the back it has triple rear cameras the primary sensor is 13 megapixel with the aperture of f2.2 and the secondary sensor basically a 2 megapixel depth sensor then we have a 8 megapixel ultra wide lens with the aperture of f2.2 and on the front it has 8 megapixel front facing camera with the aperture of f1.8 and it can shoot uh, 1080p videos in 30 fps and talking about the images as you see guys these are really really good actually at the price range of 8000 to 9000 rupees but if you compare it with some other devices like Redmi Note 8 and uh, Mi A3 it is not that good but it is pretty decent at this price range i won't say that it's bad or something like that but it's good uh, the software is a little bit enhancing the image but it's not that natural looking in my opinion but yeah uh, it looks good even the selfies are pretty decent in the daylighting situation but when we lose the light the selfies are decent i mean it is mediocre in my opinion but when we have good lighting situation the photos turns out to be really really good the cameras are pretty average i can say that and then after that uh, let's talk about the performance because this phone has really good performance i mean uh, this particular unit has snapdragon 665 processor yes very very awesome processor it's a upgrade of snapdragon 660 the same processor found on uh, you know uh, redmi note 7 mi a3 and realme 5 Uh, all those devices has the same processor and the processor is pretty fantastic i have used it in lot of devices so i have to say the performance of this smartphone is pretty decent i mean not just decent it's pretty amazing i can say that so overall performance of this phone opening apps multitasking playing games and all those things are pretty fantastic i have played pubg i already made the videos on games if you want to see that i will leave the card you can go and check that out and overall i can say that the performance of this phone is pretty fantastic no doubt about that this particular variant has 3gb of ram and 64gb of internal storage and the software is not that good i feel that you know overall uh, mi a3 has better software experience and now let's talk about the battery life which is the main highlight of this phone this smartphone comes with 5000 mah battery and 18 watt fast charger which is inside the box combining that Snapdragon 665 which is a very efficient processor and that HD plus display the battery life of this phone is very very good i am getting 2 day battery life very easily from it and uh, if you stretch it you can get 3 days of battery life from this phone yeah the battery life of this phone is just fantastic no doubt about that and uh thanks to that 18 watt fast charger we are getting really really good charging speed too so yeah that's great overall sound quality wise it's not that good uh, the speakers are decent or the earpiece quality is decent too it has the uh, headphone jack and the quality from the headphone jack is pretty good overall sound quality is pretty good let's talk about security it has a fingerprint scanner right over here and as you see over here uh it's decent it's not the fastest but it's very very accurate as you see I keep my finger it unlock. Yeah. So overall uh, the fingerprint scanner is quite quick and uh, let me show you the face unlock. Yeah. 
yeah the face unlock is pretty fast too so no issues in terms of the security features you have i have to say you are getting very very good deal while buying this smartphone so yeah i am definitely recommending this phone to you if you're gonna buy it i will leave the link in the description box below so yeah that's all in this video guys i hope you found this video helpful if you did then hit that like button share this video with your friends who are looking to buy the smartphone or any other smartphone in this price category it will be very very helpful for me as well for them so yeah thank you so much for watching this video guys by the way if you love my content you can subscribe to this channel with that bell notification icon and uh, when you do that you will get notified when i post new videos like this one once again thank you so much for watching this video guys bye